water. Just like the three-horned dream beast named Sugarfoot who sleeps under my couch, it is seemingly everywhere. In our clouds, in our pipes, even in our minds. It's hard to believe that one year ago today, on January 19th, 1979, the great water shortage of 79 would come to pass. The great water shortage of 79? Ah, oh, bro, I don't even remember it. I mean, once the great alcohol shortage of 79 hit, I really didn't even bother with all the other shortages. Indeed. After the great alcohol shortage of 79 hit, all the other great shortages, the great water shortage of 79, the great high five shortage of 79, and even the great shortage shortage of 79 simply vanished. Much like Sugarfoot after I convinced the local sheriff's department to send officers over. But as a great Albert Einstein once said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And one man in this dire hour did do for his country. This man was Harold Mooney, a scientist here at Latrobe, Pennsylvania's own Rolling Rock Brewing Company. Well, when word came down from the upper ups, the uh, castle dwellers, <laughs> as I like to call them, uh, when word came down after the great uh, water shortage of 79 hit, the, uh, the word was, uh, Harold Mooney must not leave his laboratory until he buggers this thing out. <laughs> well, uh, I had my orders, and uh, of course the uh, blimeys locked me in. So uh, what could I do, you know? I just uh, did me arithmetic and uh, figured the monster out. And figure that monster out, he did. Much like I figured out that Sugarfoot can't bite through mosquito netting. Harold Mooney devised a formula in which alcohol could be brewed sans water, revolutionizing the industry. Today, Harold Mooney is worth more than $200 billion. And the great alcohol shortage of 79 was averted. That's all for this week's episode of The Modern Man's Travails. Tune in next week when we will be discussing the Order of the Black Hand and why my mother-in-law is a vampire.